What's going on everybody? Dom here from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm super stoked to bring you this week's video because we have a very exciting and very new lens to talk about today. One that I know you're going to love because you all loved our video on the original probe lens from Venus Optics. Well, the folks over at Venus Optics were kind enough to send a PL mount version of one of their latest and greatest works and the update to the original probe lens, the Periprobe 24mm f14. So Venus Optics have made a big statement in the last couple of years with these Laowa lenses, which are all relatively high quality, pretty affordable, and definitely niche, which is a very hard line to walk on as a lens manufacturer. And a lot of these Laowa lenses could definitely replace more specialty and much more expensive lenswear out there. And that is absolutely the case with the Periprobe 24 millimeter. So before we take a real deep dive into this lens, I just wanna sort of point out here that I have the two previous versions of this lens right here next to it, the original probe lens and the cine modded probe lens in PL. So once I like line them all up together here, you can sort of like see the progression of how we got here, which is cool. So right out of the gate, we got this original 24 millimeter macro probe lens in um, 2018, I think. And the idea here was to basically extend that whole optical layout here. So this front element is way, way far stretched out and also in this teeny tiny thin lens barrel here. And this would allow you to get this part of the lens in really, really small spaces, including inside stuff and it's actually waterproof up all the way until that USB input right there. So that's just something that would be simply impossible with any other lens. So the response to this was huge, but I think they realized quickly that this was mostly being used for video applications. So a little while after that, we got this cine modded version in PL mount, and it also has these geared focus and iris rings, which is great because a wireless follow focus is actually a really good accessory for this lens's workflow. And as cool as these lenses are, and as unique of a shot that you can get with the original build of the probe lens, it was still limited in this way. So the original probe lens has a super small front element that's in this tiny lens barrel that you can get in like all these teeny tiny places, but you still had to consider the length of the barrel when shooting with this lens, which could definitely affect your shot. So say you have this big intricate macro set built or you have this specific macro shot planned. If you're moving in any other direction than like mostly linear, you've got to consider that there's like a, at least a foot and a half of lens and camera behind that front element and you're going to make sure that there's space for all that while traveling through that shot. And this is where the Peri Probe comes in. So as I have it right now, it has the front element, well, at the front. But then what's happening here? Unlock the locking collar, unscrew the barrel, pop that off, and break out the periscope lens barrel the Peri Probe comes with. Now you can see those optics are on the side of the lens barrel rather than the front which is housed a little differently at the end. It has this rectangular window on one side of the barrel here, and it still has those mini LEDs, but now only eight of them rather than nine, and it's on four on each side rather than in a circle around the lens. So if this thing was like the anteater lens, well, you can absolutely think of the Periprobe 24 millimeter as like the submarine lens. Same exact concept at play here. The optics are mirrored right here at the end of this lens barrel to allow for this front element to be angled out to the side like that. And think about the profile of this lens now. This essentially makes this like a one inch long lens. Now that could absolutely fit in a ton of tiny small places, which is what we thought of the original probe lens. Although as we just learned, it was kind of limited by the length of that barrel. I kind of noticed that the best bet for most people was probably just putting this lens on a slider and getting whatever shot you were going to get, but just sort of like on one linear axis because it kind of works the best like that. Now with this periscoping barrel, you can weave the lens through subjects on that same small scale, but you're not limited by all the space behind the lens like with the front facing optics of the original. Making super awesome shots like this 
a much more realistic possibility. Now, in this specific orientation, you're only limited by the height of this lens now, which could be its own set of problems, but you get the picture. And one of my first thoughts was, do these barrels behave the same optically? And just given these few test shots I took, it really seems like they do in terms of distortion and how they represent space. But one thing that I discovered is that this image from the periscoping barrel will be flipped on the horizontal axis or mirrored. That will just have to be flipped back in post. And also it would be really helpful while shooting if your camera or monitor can display a mirrored image correctly. Also, as I suspected, I think the periscoping barrel is going to trend a little softer than the regular barrel, especially towards the edges probably just given those weird optics, but I'd also like to add that it was very funky to shoot this lens on the chart. So results may vary there, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. The two barrels are basically the same size. The periscope barrel is a tad longer and actually has a little quarter 20 on the top. And the USB input for the onboard LED is on each of the barrels. So that's pretty self-contained there. And also what's pretty cool is that this main barrel here, the one that's attached to the camera, this has all of the moving optical components. So changes in focus and iris all take place in this part of the barrel. That way it can keep the focusing and iris isolated from barrel to barrel. And those interchangeable barrels are absolutely the main new feature here, but I also noticed that the Peri Probe is just a bit heftier than the original probe lens. The barrel diameter is slightly larger and it just seems more robust. It has this product decal up here underneath that locking ring, a royal blue stripe down here at the lens mount, and also this extra gear here that isn't really attached to anything that moves. So I'm not really sure what the purpose is for that or if it's just there for style. And this brings me to a few things I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on as I shoot with this Peri Probe 24 millimeter. Things that got maybe a little wonky on the original probe lens. For example, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on the sharpness of this image because that could definitely vary from copy to copy with the original probe. And I'm also going to be scrutinizing these onboard LEDs, which were definitely finicky on the original probe. A big step in the right direction is this full-size USB here. I feel like the source of a lot of those problems on the original probe was that micro USB connection, which was kind of a nightmare. A lot of the LEDs on our original probe lenses would flicker, the connection wasn't great, or just the dimmer wouldn't work, or they just wouldn't work at all. But so far, I've gotta say that the onboard LEDs on both of these barrels work really, really well. The connection is really secure, and so far, both cables work for powering these onboard LEDs. I have so much respect for Venus optics with these Lowell lenses, which are just getting increasingly more niche and I'm totally here for it. Whenever they come out with like a really niche specialty type of optics like this, it just makes me want to go out and get an impossible one of a kind shot that you could only get with a lens like this. So that's why you should totally be on the lookout for a video on the channel in the next couple of weeks where I use this Peri Probe on an awesome macro shoot. And I'm gonna take a bunch of behind the scenes of that shoot so you could sort of see us troubleshoot the workflow through this because it's definitely gonna be funky. Some unconventional methods are gonna be put to use there. And then also you're gonna see a whole bunch of sample footage taken with this lens, probably on the Komodo, probably on a food shoot. I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. All I know is I just want to use this lens to its fullest potential because it's A, awesome, B, allows you to get shots that are straight up impossible with any other lens, and C, Unfortunately, I have to send it back soon. Which reminds me, this is a brand new product from Venus Optics that they sent us one copy of just for the purpose of making this video. And so that means there may be a small window of time between this video's release and when the Peri Probe will be available to rent on the Lens Pro to Go or Lens Rentals website. So if the link to the rental page isn't in the description by the time this video goes out, just hang tight for probably only a matter of days and that link will be there. If you're watching this video and that link is there, just ignore everything I just said. So with all that out of the way, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video, introducing the Peri Probe 
24 millimeter f14 lala lens from venus optics it's like right when you thought lenses couldn't get any weirder with this thing venus lala pushes the envelope with the periprobe 24 millimeter and as always if you have any questions about this lens or any of the lenses or gear you saw in this video or you have any sweet insights about how you would use this very specialty lens on a macro shoot or just to get a shot that would be straight up impossible in any other way let me know in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion also if you happen to like this video hit it with that little thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it and maybe you've already noticed but we are getting dangerously close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone so if you're not already please help us reach that number by subscribing and if you are thank you very much and if you are you can actually hit that little bell button down there next to the subscribe button and that'll keep you in the loop whenever we post new content which is every week so Pay attention to the little things every once in a while, and we'll see you in the next one.